So in this video, I want to talk to you about scheduling the script. Uh, the first thing I've done is set up a password reminder user. Uh, and then what we need to do with this user is delegate control of the OU where our users are. Uh, so if we run the delegate control wizard, we're going to add in our password reminder user. Uh, and then we need to give them access to read all user information. This is to make sure that the user can access all the password related information. Next thing I've done in the script itself is I've renamed it to remove the spaces from the file name. Uh, and if we look here at the variables, I've updated the email address to my new password reminder user and I've changed the path uh, from my personal user accounts profile to a generic folder. Inside that folder, I've got the file that we want to attach and I've got the script itself. So we need to build the scheduled task now. So what we'll do is we'll create a basic task. We'll call this uh, password reminder. I'm going to run this every day at 12.30. I'm going to start a program called PowerShell. We have a command. Uh, we want to make sure we go into the properties. Want to run this whether the user's logged on or not. I'm going to make sure we set this to run as our password reminder user. Uh, and then we're going to save that. So we'll tap in that. And that's it. And the last thing we need to do is uh, if we go into computer management, we need to set our password reminder user as a member of the backup operators group. Uh, and the reason for that is that allows the user to uh, log on as a batch job and execute scheduled tasks. So uh, with that in mind, we will wait until 12.30 and uh, see what happens. As you can see, those password reminders have come through, and that's how you schedule the script.